Welcome to Location, the Locator News Program. I'm Ian O'Neill. And I'm Melissa Menzer, and here's your news now. College President Marie Angelala George recently spoke about the college's revised mission statement in her State of the College Address. President George spoke about how the college mission statement will enhance the learning experience of students making them better global citizens. Most students finish college in four years, but for some Cabrini students it takes extra semesters. Some of the most common reasons for taking extra time to graduate are transferring from another school or taking classes too difficult. The Fall Honors Convocation was held during Family Weekend to recognize outstanding students. The ceremony included words of wisdom from College President Marie George and Chief Academic Officer Dr. Ann Sclater. Students were honored for achieving the Dean's List and the President's List, as well as other academic awards. Now let's check in with Megan to find out the winner of this year's Wing Bowl. I'm Megan Conti, live on location at the Marketplace, reporting in for a Catboard event, Wing Bowl. Now let's check in to see what students had to say. Well, we came to this event tonight because we saw signs all around campus and we wanted to try out wings and see what people were capable of making with their sauces. I've heard that one of the prizes is a $100 gift card, so I'm anxious to see who wins that. Students were given 20 to 30 different ingredients in a competition to make the best wing sauce. This was a free event for all students and the grand prize was a $100 gift card. There was a great turnout. Catboard is looking to do the event next year for sure and making the event bigger. They would ideally like the event to be located on Common so students walking by can be involved. I did the wing bowl because I love to make people happy with food and I can do that. We looked up a recipe and our secret ingredient was okay, our secret ingredient was butter and lots of it and we made a buffalo sauce with a little cayenne pepper uh, and brown sugar. And in first with the best yep. sauce of the night. Throwback wings. Yeah. Well, it looks like that was a fabulous event. I'm Megan Conti, live on location. Now back to the studio. Many college women think that they have to live up to the perfect standard when it comes to their bodies. To try and ease the body image obsession, a plus-sized fashion show was held in New York featuring plus-sized models and celebrities with curves. The fashion industry has been criticized recently for projecting an inaccurate image of what true beauty is. The show was put on to send the message that not all beautiful women fit into one stereotype. Now it's time for our Person of the Week segment with Liz Scopoletti. Three, two, one. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Person of the Week. Today I have Matt Holmes, webmaster of Cabrini College. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. No problem. Okay, so you started doing improv when you first came to Cabrini in 1998. Did you have any interest before you came, or was this just kind of, you were thrown into it when you, when you got here? Uh, I had seen, like, Whose Line Is It Anyway, and I kind of knew what improv was, right. but I wasn't all that outgoing. So <laughs> when, I, uh, when I came to Cabrini, I thought, you know, that's fun, I'll give it a try. Uh, and when I found myself, you know, accepted, you're on the team, you know, get ready to do improv, it was, uh, you know, an exciting new adventure for me. In your opinion, what makes a good improviser? Uh, I think improv is all about um, being willing to do whatever comes up. Because you don't have a script, nothing's planned out, um, so you have to be willing to do whatever weird thing you find yourself in. Being brave, basically. Right. Now, since you're the webmaster of Cabrini, do you think that you would ever put that job on hold and focus solely on improv? Uh, I think not a lot of people do improv and nothing else, they, people tend to right. have day jobs, unless they're also actors or movie stars. Here's 
state of the country. <laughs> Some of the most was during the weekend to Words of wisdom Now Competition. Free event. 